It's very easy for any system of thought, religious or otherwise, that comes along, it's very easy to play on that, to play on our insecurities, to assure us all is well, we'll all be taken care of. We lap that up. So don't blame religion. Blame our own insecurities, which has allowed religion to flourish, and which has allowed so many systems of thought that are disempowering to flourish throughout human history. That's why we can't get out of it. Ron Sakely, department chairman, Chemistry, University of California, Berkeley, showed that DNA acts as an antenna for cellular upregulation. The primary function they taught us about what DNA is about. It's a receiver and transmitter of photons, light and phonon sound. For what? Cellular upregulation, meaning that their water molecules, the pyramid power around the DNA spiral energizing strands are taking in the spiritual energy of love vibrations and then sending it out for manifesting, precipitating in a quantum field the physical matter of the body. These are hertz frequencies or cycles per second that the musicians can retune their instruments to play and experiment with. Why? Again, these are the creator's musical scale, the original solfeggio buried for 3,000 years in the Bible. So the ancient priests who knew how to levitate the huge stones for the building of the pyramids and the Masonic knowledge that predated ancient Egypt, the ability to have this information, these frequencies serve the function of creation, destruction, and miracles on behalf of the empowered people who had access to this knowledge. I say that because of this metaphor. This is the difference between the power of the, our Creator and anything else, particularly evil. That you can go into a pitch black room full of evil, full of darkness, and light a little candle, and instantly that darkness flees. But you can't do the opposite. You can't go into a well-lit room full of truth and wisdom and righteousness and joy and health and harmony with the universal power. And you can't take a, any amount of darkness and go into that well-lit room and have any effect whatsoever. That is the metaphor which I frequently think of when I think that I'm not empowered. It is the greatest lesson for me and I think for everybody else to know that we're on the winning side and that we win in the end. As you are watching this, understand that it is not a fight to be fought. It is not a war to be waged. No gun rights have to be exercised. Not a finger has to be lifted. Most people wonder how one person can make a difference. They ask that if all this is so simple and this information is available, why hasn't someone else conquered their fears and changed the world for everyone else? This is the most difficult and beautiful conundrum to our lives. Your reality affects you and only you. Your curiosity has led you to this genre of information to serve a very specific purpose in your life. To understand visually how the universe is truly a hologram, a math professor at Yale University developed the formula that is plugged into a computer program. Named after him, the Mandelbrot set shows a seemingly disorganized pattern, but no matter how far you zoom into the design, you will always find the same pattern within the whole pattern. Each fractal, broken down infinitely, will always reflect the whole. When one fractal changes its pattern, the sum total of the whole pattern changes along with it. This exemplifies that the whole world does not need to be awoken. There is no race to inform the six billion people on this planet of this message. It is only important that you, personally, learn to conquer your innermost fears and learn to love. When you see your fears for what they are and master your emotions, then, and only then, will you truly be free.